Hey guys, this is Mary. You're watching another little piece of my art. Today I'm going to show you some things that I have acquired in the last um, month or so. Excuse my blanket. This is not dirt. It's pilled up because my dog scratches it. And she's old, so she's allowed to do whatever she wants. <laughs> We're in my bedroom today because... I am feeling under the weather with a fever, so <clears throat> just didn't feel like getting out of bed. But I wanted to get this video out to you. So, um, I have been to the Ollie's here where I live. <coughs> Excuse me. Not impressed at all, but they did. They, they have a terrible selection of coloring books. Just awful. But um, they did have these Crayola Take Note highlighter pens. It's a two-in-one pen, so one side is the... Um, you know, like it says, you can use them in a planner or a journal. One of them is the thing you write with or color with. And then the other side is the highlighter. So I haven't seen those before, or I haven't picked them up anyway. And I thought they would work really well in my Bible journal. Um, because a lot of times, you know, you just want to, you want to highlight a passage, but then you also want to add a little bit of your own words to there. So that's what those were for. And... Oh, um, I also found another pack of the Take Note Crayola uh, pens. I love these pens. I think they are probably my favorite in terms of the permanent markers. Um, I just, this orange color, these, both these orange colors. Oh my God. This one comes out like a gold. I love these markers so much. Why do they not have more colors? If anyone knows, let me know. Cause I really want more colors. Um, but this is the first time I saw them in the Ollie's here. So I figured I better grab them. There's two Ollie's actually, like one is 22 minutes away and one is 27 minutes away or something. So I have been to both of them and they're nothing like the ones that were back home in Ohio. Just, we had so many coloring books. I wish I would have appreciated it while I was there. <laughs> Cause yeah, uh. My husband said, maybe they don't color here because the weather's so good, everybody just goes outside. He might have a point. I don't know. Um, so I got these from my brother for Christmas. Let me lift you up. Um, this is 100 gel pens. Uh, this is by Artist Loft. So I think that's Michael's, right? Pretty sure that's Michael's. Um, and it comes in this plastic thing thing that you know you can hold them in and then there's like a plastic dome that goes over the top of it and then it has these little strappy things but I've already broke one of them off there um but I really like them you have a selection of like uh, matte ones and then some glitter ones the only thing is you're limited with reds really super limited <laughs> yeah so the only two red ones go right here and I have them out right now using them in something else. Um, but yeah, for some reason, just don't seem to have a lot of reds. But tons of greens and blues and pinks and purples and whatnot. So I have no, no idea how much these are. Um, but I like them and I would buy them again, I think, for sure. Oh. Okay, so then um, after Betty White died... I thought I better hurry up and get some of the Golden Girls things that I wanted. Like I needed season five of the show because I, you know, when someone dies, then things become kind of the hot item or whatever. And, um, the, you know, the, the supply and demand, you can change the price to whatever you want pretty much. So I bought my season five. I need to get season six, seven, and eight. I'll be done. Um, and then I bought the book because I wanted it for a really long time. Um, I paid four dollars for it. I think I got it from Thrift Books. If you want me to look it up, find it there, find the link for you. I can do that. Um, so I've seen this book reviewed before. You have a it's it's a soft cover and it says a hundred images. I'm just gonna tell you right now. There's about fifty. I think I counted them. No, I know I counted them. I think the total was forty eight actual images of the Golden Girls. So. You know, that's still a lot of images for what I paid for it. It's not going to put me off. In fact, um, I like it because the paper is somewhat thin. And even my gel pens, 
bled through to the next page, but this is a page of a bunch of cheesecakes that I don't want to color. So it didn't bother me any. So I did this one of Sophia because she was the first in line. <clears throat> you remember the episode where she, um, they gave her the wrong glasses or she got, I can't remember what it was, but she said, um, no, I, I like mine in old lady smoky gray. So I, I gave her lenses, the old lady smoky gray tint there for her. Um, but yeah, I did most of the, the, I did all of the dress in those gel pens from Michael's that I just showed you and the, and the rainbow on the back there. And then the rest of it I did with, oh, her glasses are also the gel pens. And most of the rest of it is just with pencils and chalks. Um, but anyway, back to the book. Yeah, so <clears throat> the pages with the people, like here's the next one I'll do, which is Rose. And the pages with the people back these wallpaper pages. So, you know, in that way, it's nice that uh, you do have the wallpaper pages because... Otherwise, you would be bleeding through to a page with a person on it. Some of the wallpaper pages are not bad. I think this one's kind of cute with the citrus fruits here. Um, and this one, this one actually doesn't back a person page. So, you know, if you wanted to choose which side you wanted, liked better and color that. Um, and then there are some double page spreads like this. So yeah, I'm sure you guys have all seen this book, um, but if anyone wants a flip through, just let me know. I never know what's overdone and what people want to see, so I kind of try to feel it out from you guys. Oh, I just got dizzy. Whoa. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so the next thing I have, um, I was also a Christmas gift, and this is from my daughter. Um, I have not opened it because I wanted to open it with you guys. So let me pause you a second and um, cut this open. Okay, so this came in a, um, an Amazon box. So I'm assuming she ordered it from Amazon. And this is the 150 set. I don't know if that's the biggest set they have or not. I'm not, you know, I do have Prismas. But I haven't done a lot of research into purchasing them. Um, most of the ones I have I've bought on sale or I think one of my sets was gifted to me. But the biggest set I've ever had was 36, I believe. So, yeah, this is a new for me. But I thought maybe you guys would want to see how they look when you open them. You've probably seen it before, but... Ooh, right? Who doesn't love new pencils? So there is the, your box has the magnetic uh, clasp if you want to keep it in here. And I will probably keep mine in here until I use up my other ones. Now, since I have the smaller sets and some of them I've been, I've purchased open stock, um, there's colors in here that I do not have. So <clears throat> I may from time to time borrow from here, but yeah. So the top one, you have your reds and your peaches pinks and then over here you have your oranges um like tangerine colors and some of your uh, earth tones and then we have a huge selection of blues and greens Some more blues and some more earth tones here. Just gorgeous colors, right? Erica, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Mommy loves you. You shouldn't have, but thank you. Um, and then we have the, this part's nice because you guys know I'm into that Dracula book. <laughs> now I can color castle. I have more than one gray. <laughs> Actually, in my other sets, I think I have two different grays, but here's quite a few. Quite a few more. And then over here, <coughs> I'm sorry guys, excuse me. <clears throat> we have many more browns and some more greens. 
So I have no idea like why this blue is with this and not with the other blues. I have no idea like how they package these, if they're going by like tones, you know, cool and warm and mid-tones and like, I don't know, you know, let me know because I'm always into learning something new. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. That's disgusting. I know, but if I have to pause every time then um, it would be a very choppy video. Okay, and last but not least, I ordered these. Um, I ordered these right... Let me think now. Okay, um, Lindsay the Frugal Crafter made a video on the Macaron Brunt, Brunt Funner. Brunt Funner? However you say that, pencils. She made a video, uh, I think it was last month. I'm not 100% sure, but if you follow Lindsay, um, you, you can find the video. And she um, she does a lot of really great reviews. And I like to watch her because, um, well, she's the frugal crafter. You want to come up here, Annie? Come on. Come on. So she knows... Um, you know, and she's also, you know, a really good artist. So, you know, I trust her word. She knows like what's worth mo the money and what's not. And she really, really liked these pencils a lot. And she doesn't always like a lot of pencil sets. I mean, I'm just saying. So she had the link in her bio of her video. Um, I will, if I remember to do it, I will link her video under my video. And you can watch her review. And, um, see if they still have them. The price was I don't remember now guys um I want to say $16 and I don't know if that's still the sale the sale now uh, but they came from AliExpress so Okay, and I did open this earlier just because I got it just now. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but I haven't taken anything out or anything like that. But I opened it so that I could not have that horrible sound for you guys to hear with the cello, the, um, you know, the clear stuff. So these are all the pastel macaron colors. They are so pretty. I mean... Doesn't this just scream spring? Like, oh, won't this be so gorgeous in a flower book? I mean, you could take a set of these in your Johanna Basford um, flower book or whatever flower book you like and just go to town. And they also have <clears throat> some of these colors here. Um, these lighter kind of... Um, what color is that? It doesn't, it, they give you a number on them, but it doesn't like tell you the color name. I don't think. Let me see. Oh yeah, it does. So this one is cork. Hold on guys. Hmm. Just not going to focus, are you? I have got to get a new phone. I have dropped this one way too many times. Well, anyway, it is cork. And it's number B1171. Um, so these are oil pencils. I used to work in oil pencils before I like really got into coloring. <laughs> that was like the, one of the only sets I had besides just Crayolas. So I, I like oil pencils. Um, you know, some people don't, they, they, they prefer the wax. They think it's easier to spread around. Um, some people find the oil easier. You know, it's a personal thing. But, uh, yeah, I think these are going to be gorgeous um, on a lot of pages. I haven't swatched anything out. You know, I haven't swatched out the Prismas either or these. But it's something that I want to do when I'm feeling better. So, would you like to see these swatched out? Um, on a video is there anything that you guys particular would like to see if so just let me know because one of the reasons why I'm not as regular as I should be is because I really just don't know what um, people want to see and also I have fell into the rabbit hole that is TikTok <laughs> and I have also cursed my poor mother because I actually sent her a link to a TikTok video 
she didn't know about TikTok. I've known about it. My husband's been on it for years, you know, like three years or something, two or three years. And I was like, I'm never going to get TikTok because he just can't seem to stop looking at his phone. Well, I went down the rabbit hole myself and yeah. So if you guys are on TikTok, uh, drop me your handle and I'll give you a follow. Anyway, all right, guys, that's all I have to show you. Um, I hope you are all doing well, staying warm. If you're in the part of the world that is cold right now, um, it was, it's been cold in Florida, but today it's 66 degrees and the sun is shining, so thank goodness. But I hope wherever you are, you are warm and toasty and doing well and that the new year is going great for you so far. So take care, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.